welcome, welcome to all of you who are here and Dream Nation and viewers all over the world. I want to welcome you to when God is going to establish you today for what he will have you do for the rest of this year. God is going to move through you in an unexpected way. He's about to move through you in a surprising way. The things that he will do through your hands this coming year are going to shock everyone that is around you. May today be the day where you give God glory. Let today be the day where he hears your lips giving praise. Everyone whose lips have breath, today is the day to give praise and glory unto the Lord our God. So follow me in this declaration right here, right now. Heavenly Father, Lord of glory, King of kings, we welcome you, Holy Spirit. We pray today for the river of God to flow. We believe and we declare the manifestation of the presence of God. The manifestation of the power of God and the manifestation of the glory of God. We believe and we receive in this service manifestation, revelation, and demonstration in the midst of your people. Amen and amen. Let's worship with new sound.
Well, I'll tell you, that was so powerful. Thank God for Mr. Jamie McMillan and New Sound. Oh my God, the Lord is so awesome. I'm telling you, I hope you felt the presence of God as they were worshiping. Listen, there's a new order at Dreamlight. We are celebrating. We are dancing in the storm. And that's how we're going to see the Victory Saints in 20. 22. Well, you know, we've been away, had a chance to rest some, and thank God for uh, for that time of resting. I'll tell you, it was so needed, but the Lord has just been so good, and myself and Lady had a wonderful time, and um, today uh, we're here to share with you, I'm here to share with you the Word of God, something I believe God has released in my heart for you for 2022. So make sure you like and share your page uh, as we get into the Word. Now, throughout the message, you'll have an opportunity to give unto the Lord. Listen, uh, there's no better thing to do than to put God first in your giving as you begin this first month of the year to honor God for his goodness toward you. Remember, if you honor him in the first, he blesses the rest. So let's, let's make sure we honor God with our tithes and offerings today as we're listening to the word and receiving from the word. And I believe God's going to bless your household as he's promised he would. But more importantly, he's been just that good that we just owe him our all. Amen. God bless you. All right. All right. Thank you again. Thank you so much. Let's go into the word of God. I'm going to just read Genesis 1 and 1, and then I'm just going to just, just minister to you today. Uh, <clears throat> Out of Genesis 1, 1, 1 through 4, it says, In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. The earth was without form and void, and darkness was upon the face of the deep. And the Spirit of the Lord was hovering over the face of the waters. Then God said, Let there be light. And there was light. And God saw the light was good and divided the light from the darkness. Man, what a very powerful passage and what a great word to start this beginning of the year. Uh, I'm going to talk from the subject, it's your new beginning. It's your new beginning. I don't care what the enemy has said or what he has been speaking to you. We were in a season of new beginnings. You know, there's something about the new year that all of us look to have a new beginning. People make all kinds of New Year's resolutions. They say, you know, I'm going to lose all this weight. They say, I'm going to change my diet. Many people say, you know, I'm going to get out of debt. Sometimes we say, you know, I'm just going to start a new business. Some people say, you know what, I'm just going to get out of this relationship and start a new one. We make a lot of resolutions in the beginning of the year, but sometimes, and most of the time, when you look back on those resolutions two to three to four weeks later, they dissolved. And we never see really breakthrough and follow through with the things that we had planned to do for the year. And I find, found out that it doesn't have to be that way. And that this whole season of the beginning of a new year in January is really an opportunity for a new beginning. Yeah. Every day is an opportunity for new beginning. Every week, Sunday, first day of the week, is an opportunity for a new beginning. And especially every single year, if you made it through 2021 and you are still have survived through this pandemic when lives are still slipping into eternity, I'm telling you, God has a new beginning prepared for you. Glory to God. And we look at this scripture, God really shows us how he gives us our new beginning. And I want you to grasp the word of God, the truth today, because I believe some of you have been through some trauma. Some of you have not been able to shake your past hurt, your past uh, disappointment. Some of you have been really living in torment. I feel it in my spirit. Some of you have been in financial bondage for a long time and you are being positioned, I believe, by the Holy Ghost for a new beginning, but you got to know how to embrace that new beginning. In fact, I prophesy to you even now, there's a new you in 2022. The new you that is going to experience the new beginning, you haven't seen that person yet. 
but they're there. <laughs> That's right. He's there. It's you. It's who you are. The Bible says in 2 Corinthians 5, 17, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. Old things are passed away and behold, all things, how many things? All things become new. That's powerful. Glory to God. That because I'm in Christ, I have now, I live now in the possibility of everything changing and becoming new. Yeah, there's a scripture that says even this light affliction that now is for, but for a moment, it works in me a far more eternal weight of glory. Hallelujah. So we look not on the things that are seen, but we look on the things which are not seen because the things that are seen, the scripture says are temporal, but the things that are not seen are eternal. That word temporal means subject to change. Everything Watch this. In your life as a believer is subject by the word of God to change. That means God can change your finances. That means God can bring you into new relationships. That means God can release new ideas. That means God can release new opportunities. That means God can give you a new song, a new praise. He can give you a whole new perspective, a whole new outlook in life. You serve the God of the new. And I'm telling you, he's about to make all things new. I just need just a few of y'all that just may know. I want a hundred of y'all to just come in agreement with me that there are new beginnings that are springing forth. I want everybody to type that in. I receive a new beginning in the Lord. Come on. I receive a new beginning in the Lord, in God. Why is that important? Because here in Genesis, God spells it out for us. In the very first verses of the Bible, he says, in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. I want you to notice that the first thing, if you're going to receive a new beginning is you got to understand that creativity is tied to your new beginning. Anything that's going to begin anew has got to be created. Now, God has created all things in the earth, but thanks be unto him, that he has so arranged our spiritual DNA and he has made us up in his image and in his likeness to the extent where you and I are also creators. That's right. We have the ability to create anew by the choices we make, by the decisions we make, watch this, and by the words we speak. Now look at this. It says here that God created in the beginning and to create something means to bring it into existence. It means to cause it to happen. It means to invest because anytime you're going to cre uh, create something new, it's going to cost you something. That's what many of us are, uh, many of us are dealing with. That's why we haven't been able to see anything new because we don't want to pay a price. But listen, there's nothing new coming without a price being paid. You got to make an investment. You said, I want a new breakthrough in my finances. Well, are you going to invest something new? Are you going to pay for a new seminar or education? Are you going to sow a new seed, a larger seed? Are you going to establish first fruits, whatever? I don't know what it's going to require, but I can tell you that if you're going to create something, it's going to require an investment. You got to give up something. Are you listening to me? It means to produce through imaginary skills. My God, create, create. This is your year of creation. I write that word in. Somebody write that in there. This is my year of creation. This is my year of creativity. I prophesy and release over you by the spirit of the Lord. Creativity, I call it forth out of you. In 2022, God is releasing a grace for you to create. Why? Because he wants you to have a new beginning. It also means to produce or bring about a new course of behavior. Because if you want something you never had, you got to do something you never done. If you want to see something you've never seen, you got to say something you never said. It's simple as that. You know, the Lord said to me, he says, son, my people want new beginnings, but they won't give me new prayers. New prayers in your life are going to produce new beginnings. 
I'm telling you, sometimes our prayers are, are become so mundane. They become so mechanical. We pray that, and then we really, if we never do an audit of our prayers, we will see why we don't see anything new and no be new beginnings because our prayers are pretty much the same. They're, they, we don't pray bigger prayers. We don't pray, we don't pray dangerous prayers. As, <laughs> and dangerous prayers are simply praying prayers that, that put you in a position where, oh, if God don't do it, it's not going to be done. But God says in 2022, I want you to pray bigger prayers, bolder prayers. I want you to don't just pray local prayers, but pray, pray global prayers. See, new beginnings. I got to be a creator and I got to pray new prayers. I pray that God will show you, as he taught me in 2021, how to pray new prayers. And because of my new prayers, I got new results in my life. Stop praying just for uh, uh, to get a house. Pray for real estate property, bless God. Don't just pray for just enough. Pray that he blesses you with an overflow. Pray. Pray new prayers because new prayers, the Lord says, will help you create a new life. Look what the scripture says here. And, and, and it says here that God created, but right after God created, the earth was without form or void. And it says the spirit of the Lord was upon the face of the deep. Now, there's some powerful things I want you to see here. And I'm not going to be here for you long because I think you're getting what I'm saying. I've sensed in the Holy Spirit that you're grasping what I'm saying. Theologians believe that something happened between verses one and two and that there has been some demonic disruption that somehow the enemy, the demons, the devil, well, this is the period in which he was actually cast out of heaven and ended here on the planet Earth, him and his 130 the angels. And of course, he came with disruption and caused chaos in the earth. This is what many theologians teach. We know something happened because anything God creates is eternal and it doesn't corrupt, doesn't become void or formless. So it's very clear here that something happened but here's the beauty of this text, because Hebrew thought is that God, with his foreknowledge, already knew that chaos was going to happen, that, that the earth was going to become form and voidless. Yet in his sovereignty, in his omniscience, and knowing everything, he still was able to create a new beginning. <laughs> Glory to God. Look what it says. And the spirit of the Lord was upon the face of the, 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 the deep. Now, this is very important because the only way God was able to bring about this new beginning is that the spirit of God had to face. I want you to notice that. The spirit of God was facing the depth of the waters. And the Bible says it was upon the face of the deep and moving upon the face of the waters, which simply means that there was a divine setup here. <laughs> Glory to God. And there's been a divine setup in your life. There's been a divine setup, I believe, in the entire earth where the Lord has allowed, and we've seen where the enemy has brought chaos. He has brought chaos in our homes and chaos in America through this pandemic, through this virus, and now the variants. And people are still confused and wondering what's next. And there is darkness all over the earth because people don't know what's next. They can't see what's next. People have become empty and void and, and, and they feel lifeless. And I'm here to tell you that God many times will allow circumstances to get to the place where you don't know where else to turn or what to do so that you can look for a new beginning. There was no other place for the earth to go than to begin anew. And I'm saying to some of you that for you, there's no other direction for you to go than to start anew. Stop trying to recreate the old or, or try to do over the old. Let the old go, okay? Let the old paradigm, the old mindset, the old relationship, the old business, the old ministry, everything that you thought was all right, let it go now because the Spirit of the Lord is hovering over, watch this, 
something anew, a beginning. And he was about to create a brand new beginning. And how did he do it? He done it, did it by speaking the word of God. And that is the key. In this decade of pay, you have got to be sensitive that you got to face what you're dealing with. But understanding you're not facing it alone. The spirit of the Lord is hovering over that problem, hovering over that child. Spirit of the Lord is hovering over all of those things that are seemingly troubling you. The scripture says the Lord will cause your enemies who rise against you to be defeated before your face and flee in seven days. The reason why some of you are not seeing victory is because you won't face the fact that it's time for a new beginning. But when you face it, that's where the presence of God is. The word, the word for face is presence. So the Spirit of the Lord is hovering in the face of that situation. The Spirit of the Lord is hovering in the face of that trouble, in the face of the pain, in the face of the hurt, in the face of even the offense, in the face of the debt and the oppression that you've been dealing with financially. And what is the Spirit or the Spirit of God waiting for? Is waiting for the Word of God to be released over. Over that situation. And today, that's what I'm doing. I'm releasing the word of God over the chaos, over the unfulfillment, over the emptiness. Glory to God. I'm releasing the word of God in the dark areas of your soul where the enemy has told you it will never change. It will never get better. Your life will never be the same. I release the word of God and I declare you will see change. I declare as your finances are turning around, you will live debt free. I declare and decree that you are delivered from that addiction. I declare and decree through the word of the Lord that strongholds are coming down through the mighty glory and power of the Lord. You will not live with that stronghold in your mind. I shatter it. I demolish it by the spirit of God. I say there's a new beginning. There's a new you. There's a new mind. Thank you, Holy Spirit. God says new businesses, new money, new family, new marriage. Hallelujah. This is what the Lord is saying. I can make all things new, but you got to understand it's going to come through you speaking that word into that chaos. And that's what the Lord is going to do, what he wants to do. Because God allows circumstances many times to provoke in us a desire for a new beginning. I don't know what you've been experiencing. I don't know what has appeared to be toxic in your life. I don't know if you felt like even giving up. Maybe your earth, because you know you are the earth. That's, what, that's right. You're going to go right back to the earth. <laughs> your body will. But your spirit will reconnect with your, with your maker. But your flesh will go back to the earth. So when you speak of the earth, when God speaks of the earth, he's really referring to you. Because the increase, the new beginning is going to begin with the earth. Glory to God. As it was here in the book of Genesis. The beauty of this whole passage, this text is, not only does God make us a creator, gives us the ability to create, not only does it give us the power and the ability to face what we're dealing with, but the beauty of this entire scripture here is that God can give us a new beginning through his word. That's all I want to say to you today. That's all. There's a whole lot more I can say. But your life does not have to be perfect for it to be blessed. See, it's the blessing that God wants to release upon you. The word, what did Psalms 1 say? Blessed is the man that doesn't walk in the counsel of the ungodly, nor 
stands in the way of sin is no sin in the skin is scornful. So the word of God lists you and I know that there's going to be a price to pay if you want a new beginning. And sometimes it begins with new relationships. In fact, I would say 90% of the time it begins with new relationships. And I'm not talking about you just leaving your spouse or just leaving, uh, no denouncing your mother, father. Now I'm not referring to that kind of, but even though sometimes for a period of time, you may have to separate yourself. No, I'm talking about the toxic relationship that are giving you the counsel. You've been feeding off the wrong information. You've been feeding off the wrong knowledge. They're giving you bad counsel. They're telling you things that, that, that they're not hearing from God. When you should be creating a whole new normal, creating a whole new life, creating a whole new thought pattern by meditating on the word day and night. And he says, if you do that, you're going to be like a tree planted by the rivers of water. I'm going to push stability in your life. I'm going to establish a new beginning. That's what a tree is. A tree is an establishment for a brand new growth, a brand new life. The tree of life. Yes, yes. The choices you make to determine whether or not you have the tree of life or the tree of death. And there are many people who are making bad choices because of the pandemic, because of what's going on around them. They're making bad choices. But your decisions and your choices should be based upon the word of God, understanding that God can give me a new beginning, understanding that the steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord. The Lord is ordering your steps in 2022. And the Lord is ordering your steps in 22, 2022. I can tell you he is saying by the the spirit, it's time for a new beginning. It's time for a new attitude. It's time for a new wardrobe. So I don't know where that came from, but some of y'all need to know that because many times your clothing or your way you express yourself on the outside is a reflection of what's going on on the inside of you. Can I tell you something? When you start thinking different about yourself, when you start getting a new feeling about yourself, when you start getting a new attitude about who you are, it's going to come out of every area of your life. And many times it begins with the clothes you put on your back. He says, you'll be like a tree planted by the rivers of water. Oh God, I love this. Who brings forth fruit in this season. Get ready for new fruit. New fruit. Somebody type that in there. I'm going to have new fruit in 2022. New fruit, a new productivity. God's going to use you in a new way. Glory to God. Your life is going to impact people in a new way. There's a new beginning coming from somebody in the area of business. I see it in you, you, you're a counselor. And the Lord says, you've been, you've been counseling, but God says, I'm going to open doors in the area of counseling. And there's some of you, there's a new there's a new ministry breaking forth in the area of healing. God says, you've been hearing it, you've been knowing it, but this is the year you're going to step out and just do it anew. And I'm, I'm seeing contracts for new people. I'm seeing new things coming, new people, new contracts, new clients, new hookups, new, new connections. Come on, receive that. That's what the Lord is saying. Someone's going to do a new album or a new music project. New things are happening in this season and you got to embrace it. Listen, you bring forth fruit in the season. So your leaves should not wither. That refers to health and vitality. God says a new vitality is coming to your life. Come on, Psalms 1, th and one through 3. He says a new vitality, a new energy, a new life. That's what vitality is. You're gonna listen, you're gonna be greener. <laughs> oh, God. I mean, you're gonna you're gonna have life, you're gonna have health, and that's what you need. For some of you, new beginning in your health. The Lord is saying. New beginning with your weight, new beginning with your diet, new health, new wellness. See, new beginnings, make the change. Disconnect with the things that are, that are keeping you from your new beginning and make a decision. I'm going to have vitality in 2022. And then he says, and whatever you do, it's going to prosper. I decree and declare over you that whatever you do, in 2022. Thank you, Lord. Did you hear that? Whatever you do in 2022 is going to prosper because you're embracing the new beginning.
Blessings to you today. I trust you have received that word. I trust you've taken some notes at a Genesis 1, Psalms 1. Oh, I pray that you've taken some notes today. You received that new beginning. Oh, thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. For many of you today, you're going to let go that unforgiveness. You're going to let go that person so that you can walk into that new relationship with God. That's what that's what God was saying. He was saying, if you can just let go these relationships that are pulling you down and come into the true relationship, which is with me and my son, Jesus, because Jesus is the living word. In the beginning was the word and the word was with God and the word was God. The same was in the beginning with God and all things were made by him. Without him, there wasn't anything made. He is the word. He is the creator of all things. So as you get that word in you, you're going to start creating things. You're going to start seeing new beginnings. Yes, yes. I pray in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ that you would attach yourself from every old thing that is keeping God from doing a new thing. I sever in the spirit of the Lord old attitude, old paradigms that are hindering us from our future, old relationships. Thank you, Father. Even back in your childhood, old excuses, we detach ourselves and we declare, we embrace a new beginning. Yes, new beginning. Somebody just typed it in there. I embrace my new beginning. Listen, I, I see somebody really, the Holy Spirit is really pressing this on your heart. But then there's somebody that's going to try to call you up and just tell you, you know, child, you know, let's go back to the old time way. And you're going to say, you know, I'm not going there no more because God is doing a new thing. And even in your money, God says, in 2022, some of you are going to experience breakthroughs in investing because you're going to embrace that new area of investing, the Lord says. And for some of you, you heard that word in New Year's Eve when I talk, spoke about new businesses and how those new businesses are going to break family curses. God says, get ready for the new. I've redeemed you through the blood of Jesus and the old is going to die so that the new can spring forth by the spirit of the living God. I speak it and declare it over you. God says, see, say what you, you will see and you will see what you say in 2022. Father, we thank you for all these things. May we surrender to the new. May we surrender to what you're saying, Holy Spirit. Lord, Lord God, now prayers be prayers of surrenderance. Surrendering so that we can jump out and launch out into the deep and we can trust you in the deep waters because in the deep waters, you that's where you are. Hallelujah. That's where you create that dependency on you. That's where you expose us to new information, new revelation. Father is in the deepness of the waters. That's when you show us your power over our enemies. That's when you show us what's really in us, God. So God, help us to embrace the deep waters so that you can speak that word and create a new thing in our life. God, I pray for the children today. May there be a new beginning in our children. May our seed bring, bring forth anew in school, in their endeavors. And then more importantly, Father, I pray you would save anew, save lives. Somebody's watching me right now that's been crying out for a new beginning. Lord, your word declares that you have the power to give us a brand new life. I speak life. I pray even now that that person who is listening, that they will dial that number that's across the screen and they will recommit themselves to the Lord and you will give them a new beginning. I don't know who I'm talking to right now, but I'm here to tell you the fact that you came into 2022, God says new beginnings. I hear the Lord saying a new you in 2022. Embrace that. I don't care what man says. I don't care what people say. I don't even care what your mind says. You embrace what the Lord says. And the Lord says a new you for 2022. And he says new beginnings, new beginnings. It's a new beginning for you. It's your new beginning. Blessings to your family. Thank you so much for taking the time to be a part of our worship expression today. Here's what I want you to do, if you will, if you just follow me today. I want you to be a blessing. I want you to give. I want you to sow uh, into your newness, your new beginning. I want you to put, uh, name your seed. You know, we believe in naming our seed. We love the Lord. We love his work. And he promised us 
through his word that if we are givers and if we trust him with our substance, he promised that he would bless us. He promised that he would he would multiply every seed sown. And today I, I want you to be a blessing. Some of you kind of took a break last week, okay? You didn't show up. You didn't show up virtually or in person. And uh, we felt it, okay? So I'm asking you this week to be a blessing. Amen. Don't rob the Lord of your tithe and be a blessing in the offering today. We love you so much. We appreciate you. It's because of your giving dream that we're able to do what we do. So make sure you be a blessing today. Give the tithe and sow your seed and type in on that seed, whatever it is, cash app, new beginnings, new beginning. Let the anointing be released through your faith and then your giving today. Well, we love you. There's so many exciting things that are happening at the dream. Thank you for your faithfulness. We're going to see you this Wednesday in Bible study. Listen to the announcements as we leave and God bless you. Make sure you share this all over your Facebook page and your friends. Tell them the apostle Dr. Ken has given a word on new beginnings. And listen, God says his word will never return unto him void, but it will accomplish what he pleases and prosper where he sends it. Blessings to you, dream. We love you. Have a blessed, blessed day. Virtual Sunday School on Zoom. Join every Sunday at 8.30 a.m. before the live broadcast. Register to attend online. On the coronavirus, COVID-19, updates for Dream Life Worship Center partners and the public through our online website by visiting www.dreamlifewc.com forward slash coronavirus.